There's no way Lee Hodges can blow this. Is there? Welcome back to Brave Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course DFS. If you don't know already, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. So, had a pretty good day today. I had Kevin Yu in my lineups, I had Tom Bogey, and I had Poston, so we'll see how the round goes. So, why my channel? I try to get you in and out in under 10 minutes so you can get on with your day and give you that information so you can win that guap. So we can look at the leaderboard and Lee Hodges has a pretty big lead. So why does this matter? We know round four you have position points. So we can't just stuff the lineup full of sleepers. We actually have to look at those position points. In general, I like to have three to four people from the top 10 because we know that there's just not, it never happens where the entire top 10, the optimal lineup is just full of people that are in the top 10. You're gonna have to look at those players that other people aren't expecting that are farther down the leaderboard. So with that, we can look at off the tee. And someone that I think will probably have lower ownership will be Trevor Cohn. He didn't have the best day today, but he's still been killing it off the tee. Another person is Doug Gim. He actually did have a pretty good day. So he might have higher ownership, but I still think he's someone you should target that is not in the top 10. We can also look at Chad Ramey. He had a decent day. He's number 34. He's really far down. And I think a lot of people are not going to be on the Chad Ramey train. Next, we can look at approach. He's been doing well on approach, but is not necessarily in the top 10. You have Kramer Hickok. He had a middling day today. I don't think he's going to have any kind of high ownership, but if he keeps doing well on approach, combines that with a little better off the tee, next thing you know, you have the person that is in that optimal lineup. Uh, we also have uh, Paul Haley, another person that I'm not sure a lot of people are really going to be on. Uh, he had, he's, he's so far this round, he's one under par. So someone that you definitely might want to stuff in a few of your lineups. And then you have Trey Mullinex, who is not having a good day, but has been doing well on approach and decent putting. So those are just those players. You got to think about it. There is some luck to DFS, and they're just going to be some players that, you know what, they're not going to, they're not going to be nervous like the players at the top. They know they're not going to win this tournament, so they're just going to go out tomorrow and have a good time. And finally, we'll look at those players that are putting well, but ne not, not necessarily in the top 10. So you have S.H. Kim. Uh, he had a decent day today, one under par. He's not going to be someone that a lot of people are targeting. You have James Hahn. He went one over par today. Definitely not going to be someone that people are targeting. And then you have Martin Laird. He did have a good day today, but I still think he's someone you can go back to tomorrow. So... Once again, we got to talk about nerves. There are going to be some people at the top. Like I said, Lee Hodges is never one. Kevin Yu is never one. Some of these people have won maybe once or twice. You have people like Poston and Finale and Mitchell who are the veterans. They don't get as nervous round four. But some of these younger players and people that have less experience, they are going to be tight tomorrow. And it could impact how they play. Another thing we have to think about is at this point in the season, the FedEx standings are very important. There's some players that it doesn't matter what's going on. They're gonna play hard to the very last hole because they're trying to get into the top 70 so they can make the playoffs. So you have players like Justin Suh, you have uh, Higo, you have Sam Ryder, you have Ben Griffin, you have Kaysley. These players that are lingering around the top 70, you need to, when you have a tie and you're trying to get your right ratios to figure it out, you should think about these players that are gonna play hard. They're not gonna quit tomorrow because they're trying to get into that top 70. Now, another thing I wanna look at are people who historically do well round four. There's some people that got the dog in them and they just do well round four. And like I mentioned, there's certain people that just kind of relax round four. So some people that I picked that I think might be lower owned that you can put into your lineup, people like Zach Blair, uh, Doc Redman, Cam Davis, Eric Cole, and Mackenzie Hughes. Those are five players who do historically well round four that you want to have in your lineup. And then the final thing we'll look at is the weather. Uh, it was so nice not to have a delay today. I don't see us having any delays tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be an even better day. Uh, the winds will start to get a little uh, more gusty in the afternoon. 
However, you can't just fade the afternoon because we know all of the top 10 players play in the afternoon. So you got to have that balance of people that are playing in the afternoon in the conditions that aren't as good with those people that once again, haven't had the best tournament so far that are going to be playing in the morning. That is why I mentioned those players like Trevor Cohn, Doug Gim, Chad Ramey. You know, everybody's off of Vincent Norman now. So those kind of players, you're going to have to have those players in your lineup, and they're going to be the difference between you winning and losing that WAP. So thank you for coming to my channel, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for watching my video. I need you to slow down what you're doing and like and subscribe to my channel so we can build this community. I'll see you next time.